Hello again and welcome to the Hobo and His Girlfriend and Wrestling Podcast, or Wrestling Review Show, whatever it is. I have to figure out a podcast one day. I'm not that technologically savvy. I'm getting there, but not yet. My girlfriend is, I think she's actually off. I think this is like her one day off. So she's at home, kind of cleaning house and stuff. We will see a lot more of her in the future, though. Be ready for that, YouTube. Again, I'd like to say hello. My name is Hobo Tom. And this is a Hobo and His Girlfriend Wrestling Review and Recap Show here on YouTube. And it's hobo and girlfriend at gmail.com. That's if you want to send an email. Also, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. You'll we'll get your comment read right on the air. A couple more days. I think less than 30 days until my suspension's lifted, so I'll be able to do stuff live. A little bit more content out there for for, for you guys. Um, today, going to do a kind of quick show, kind of in between shows. I pulled up the last one, I think from Daytona Beach. It was a couple of weeks, it was, it was only a week or two ago. And then, please, I hope I'm still going to the one show in Orlando coming up on the 26th. But today I'm here to talk about a Christmas special. Christmas special NXT event that came to Daytona Beach. Uh, this is going to be a fairly short video. Only because it's just pictures. I don't think I have my camera with me at the time. And I only have my cell phone. And I think I deleted a lot of my cell phone videos. It was just taking up way too much space. Again, flip phones can only hold so much stuff. So, Again, if you're a hobo, you don't have the Apple iPhone or the Galaxy. You have a kind of really basic cell phone. And just get by. Again, please stop by Pro Wrestling Tees. I do not have any merch there. One day, hopefully, with support from you guys, I do have a couple of shirt designs. But this is my new shirt. Again, purchased on Bullet Club Day in the Machine Gun Carl Anderson. Highly recommend it. Got my, ne got my nephew's birthday gifts all done. More wrestling t-shirts for everyone. Yes! But let's talk about this NXT event. This was, I think, a couple of weeks before Christmas. Last year, 2017. So I do apologize for not getting this up sooner. It was going to be pretty quick. Just going to be some pictures. A little brief description. Let's get into the action. First match, we have Ruby Riot and Dakota Kai versus Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville. Again, boo. Sonya Deville always gets an automatic boo from Hobo Tom. She beat my princess, Kimberly. Oh, uh, it was a fun match. It was really be really right before they became stars on the main roster. So it's kinda neat to see them there. They were I think they were just introduced like a couple of weeks before. So I don't know, it was the Royal Rumble they were introduced. I don't think they had any matches. They just cut a lot of promos. And this was before Rose and Deville really became members of Absolution. So it was really neat to see him there. It was really neat to see him back. Oh, uh, it was a fun match. It was a cheeseburger match. Mandy Rose and the Villa won. And after that, poor Dakota Kai. Such a sweet looking woman. Ruby Wright kicked her in the head. That was a heel trick. I think I'll show some pictures of this. Again, a good cheeseburger match. It was a fun, it was a fun start. I think this was also when I got my picture taken with Ruby Riot. Very quick story. At NXT events, they do tend to do a lot of meet and greet, so you actually do get to meet the wrestlers and get their and get their autographs sometimes. I saw Ruby Riot was there. I said, I have to get in line. So I got I got my picture taken with with Ruby Riot. I'm like, ah. Oh. I remember you as Heidi Lovelace, and you were so good in Independence Scene. She's like, Heidi Lovelace? Oh, that's a cousin. <laughs> Just admit to it. You are Heidi Lovelace. You had a better name than Ruby Riot Riot. Right. <laughs> Heidi Lovelace. And still one of my preferred wrestlers, Ruby Riot. Eh. She's up there. 
you get she, she would be the kind of girl you get the lolly the heart shaped lollipop for for Valentine's Day, where it's like the the true girlfriend is like the he has like the little little, holly, little lollipop heart thing for Valentine's, where the girlfriend gets a huge multiple boxes of chocolate. Again, like, it was a fun match. Then, <laughs> and this really kept with the Christmas spirit. Because you had an impromptu match, started with a promo from Heavy Machinery. Heavy Machinery came out. You have huge props to them, passed out candy canes to everyone. <laughs> and the two kids sitting next to me are such heavy machinery marks. They were so happy because they just, after they, they got, each of them got a candy cane from Heavy Machinery and then. They and then they actually asked for the box and like take the box. They were like, yeah. So again, it was it was fun. It's good, and I mean the fact that heavy machinery is so willing to interact with the crowd. Thumbs up. Sabatelli and Moss came down, ran down heavy machinery, and did the ultimate sin. You need to learn from Philadelphia. You do not make fun of Santa Claus. You do not boo Santa Claus. So again, of course, Heavy Machinery had on their little Santa hats. Sabatelli and Moss said, There is no Santa Claus! Do not tell Dozovich there is no Santa Claus. And that's already an impromptu match. That was kind of fun. I want to say Heavy Machinery won. Again, they had to defend the honor. And again, again. Sabatelli and Moss. If you make fun of Santa Claus, you'll never win. Just ask dirty, drunk, disgusting Philly fans. Hate Philly fans. Bunch of drunk, disgusting, dirty people. They should be they should all be tased. I'm off topic. So we continue to Raul Raul Mendoza versus Dan Nathan Hash. Dan Nathan he, he's gonna be a really good person because his wrestling is okay. I mean, he's a pro wrestler. He is what he is. His character work is awesome. I'm the hammer. He's the nail. And again, it was a really fun match. He, he didn't even take it serious. He's like, you know what? I'm going to take out any comer. I'm stuck here in this place, Daytona Beach, for, for Christmas of all times. I'm stuck in this lousy time, lousy town. I'm not going to bother taking my shirt off. Bring out whoever. And of course, Raul Mendoza, number one worker in all of NXT. He should, be, he should be called up soon. Even if it's just for a kind of beat me up spot in the Royal Rumble or something. Beat me up spot in the Battle Royal or Royal Rumble. Just to say, hey, we do appreciate you. And he can show up, do a flip over the top rope, be eliminated by by some some name, and hey, I'd be I, I I'd mark out for it. And that was kind of fun. It was a cheeseburger match. I mean, Raleigh Mendoza can't put on a bad match. Very fast pace. Then Mitha again just wants to slow the pace down. It was good. Again, that clash of styles is always fun. These have had a bunch of matches, so so they're probably getting used to working with each other. Again, it was good. That was Dan Mesa. Then this led to a Donovan Dijak versus Kaya Sono. And again, it was kind of fun because, yeah, I think my nephew, I think I actually met, I, oh, I actually did get to bump elbows. Kaya Sono, I remember him as Chris Hero. Again, this is such a contrast. You have Ruby Wright saying, oh, there was no way to place. Chris o Kaya Sono clearly admits he was Chris Hero. And the whole crowd started chanting, you're my hero, death by elbow. And he smiles. He at least shows some reaction. Again, he gets a two thumbs up. Ruby Riot, eh, she's good. I admit you're Heidi Lovely. And it was a fun, it was a fun match. Um, 
I mean, Ono obviously won. Dijak's not winning. But again, it kind of showcased a little bit what Dijak can do with a guy his size. Dijak is a, is, is a big wrestler. Kai is awesome. Just awesome. It was a cheeseburger match. And then for, and then for some reason, this was just a really odd show. If it wasn't that great. It's just kind of average. And it, it could have been great. I think this was a time of year a lot of the wrestlers start to take off. Just kind, kind of relax. And I know it's looking funny because I'm trying to get some other work done. Because I can't hobo today because it's raining. Welcome to Florida. Rains every day between April and June. And then where I am in June, the probably the hurricane start. But I have my hurricane supplies. Oh, hurricane supplies. Yeah. Again, if I ever do a podcast during one of the hurricanes, you shall see my hurricane supplies. Um, then they, they always take a little break. And, and, and these two, for some reason, recognize me from the YouTube. So again, you have fans of the hobo. Thank you, Adam and Liam. Here is your shout-out. Shout-out to Adam, Aiden and Liam. Remember, Aiden and Liam, like, subscribe, comment. And email hobo and girlfriend at gmail.com. Again, you recognize the hobo, you get your shout out, Aiden and Liam. Everyone else out there, the same thing could happen to you. And become YouTube famous like Hobo Tom. I wish. So after the intermission, we had uh, Lindsay Evans, probably getting her name wrong because I can never remember who she is. Versus Ember Moon. This was really a ham sandwich match. You never realize how really short some of these competitors are because the ring makes everyone look six feet tall, at least 120 pounds. Ember Moon, she's short. She could whoop my butt. She's thick. Not in the bad way. She is. Thigh muscles. I'm like, I wish I had those leg muscles. And I'm <laughs> Again, bonus points to those who can figure out what radio show I stole that from. Again, Ember Moon won. I think, yeah, she was still champion at the time. And then you have the Authors of Pain. Versus the undisputed era un, uh, of Bobby Fish, the infamous Bobby Fish, and Kyle O'Reilly, who were still NXT tag team champions. And, well, well, the previous match was a ham sandwich. Lindsay Evans is good, nothing great. Ember Moon was kind of on her way out. She just was there to make Lindsay Evans look a little bit better than she is. Lindsay Evans is okay. She's just, I don't know. Again, the first match I saw it kind of kind of tainted my, my thoughts of her because it was it was a little, it was a, like toast match. Her and Sonya Deville. The crowd was dead for that, but that's on a previous podcast. Then you had the Authors of Pain versus Undisputed Area. Again, this was a ham sandwich. And I think the only reason why it was a ham sandwich is because the authors of Pain were about to go over Undisputed Era. Except for there probably would have been some degree finish. But they were going to powerbomb Kyle O'Reilly on top of Bobby Fish. Or it's going to be like dual powerbomb. Oh no, it was a... <laughs> this was one of those... Pro Wrestling Realist. A come where I can never tell him. Had one guy up in his shoulders, kind of in, in a fireman's carry position. Someone managed to get the 
get I think Bobby Fish into a power bomb, and when everyone came tumbling down, it was a weird spot. Because, uh, and, um, there was a really awkward fall, and I think Kyle O'Reilly's knee like smacked and busted open Bobby Fish in the head because like literally like blood was pulling out, and they actually had the real EMTs. And you can tell the real EMTs because they have the real uniform on, along along with the WWE trainer. And it was kind of really scary. It's, you could see it. You could tell it was going to be a screwy finish, because the referee went over to Ope, said something, and all of a sudden, Nikki Kyle O'Reilly comes up, rolls up one of the members of the Office of Pain, and, and that was it. Again, it was okay. I was I was kind of confused because, well, I forget if Adam Cole was with him. But, oh, yeah. There was no Adam Cole, baby! And there wasn't any Paul Allen. It was like, uh Again, maybe Daytona Beach is too small. Although, he was here, but again, he was a champion. Was, he's Adam Cole, baby! No Paul Allen. He's probably I'm done. Because this is Daytona Beach, not Cleveland. All that learning invitation. But that was it. It was, it, was, it was an okay card. Again, 20 bucks for side seats with my nephews. Fun time. Again, they got to, they got goodies from Heavy Machinery, which drove them crazy. And it was fun. It was what it was. Nice little, little get out. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Again, kind of helps me out a little bit. Makes my ego feel good. I can't collect aluminum days like this when it's pouring rain. So I have to do something. And I figured, hey, pro wrestling's good for everyone. Again, pro wrestling tees, pro wrestling tees I don't know. Hopefully one day we'll have merch there. Um, like, subscribe, and email at Bobo and girlfriend dot gmail dot com. I'll look in the next couple of the, probably next week or two for the recap of the NXT coming to Orlando video that I'm gonna make. Also I might put up a older SmackDown video. And then soon it's gonna be time to live stream. Also, I think Either at the end of June, beginning of July, Southern Pro Lucha Libre. Where is there?